Hello, today we're going to learn how to connect your RoboMotion robot to your workspace and run our first flow. A robot is a software designed to execute your automation flows. You can either use Cloud Run, which does not require any software installation, or Local Run, which requires installing an agent software. So to see how Local Run works, we need to install the RoboMotion agent software. You can download the latest version from robomotion.io slash downloads page. Download and install the version that is compatible with your operating system. We will start by creating a simple flow to run on the robot we are going to connect. Let's click the new project button and name our flow OpenAI Chat. First, let's begin by adding an inject node as every flow usually starts with one. We will rename this node to start. We will then proceed to add the OpenAI nodes to our flow. If the OpenAI package is not installed, you can click the packages icon right next to the search box and then find the OpenAI package. Right click and install. We first need to add the connect node. Connect node requires OpenAI API keys. To simplify, we won't use an OpenAI key. Instead, we'll use RoboMotion AI credits. Click the Use RoboMotion credits of the Connect node, and then add the Create Chat Completion node. Finally, to see the response from ChatGPT, add a debug node to your flow, which will dump the output to Designer or the Terminal. We will add our prompt for the create chat completion node. We will keep it very simple. Let's use tell me a joke. And now we are ready to connect our robot and run the flow. We will first see the simplest way to connect a robot and run our flow. And that is the cloud run option. Cloud run does not require any installation. When you click the run icon, you'll see two options. Cloud Run to run the robot in our cloud, and Local Run to run it on your machine. If you have Cloud Run Minutes, Cloud Run option will be enabled. If you have successfully installed and connected a robot from your machine, the Local Run option will become available and enabled for use. Let's first try the Cloud Run option. Let's pick this one and continue to run. The robot is currently being connected from our cloud servers and will soon begin to execute the flow. The flow has run and we have received the response from OpenAI. Let's check the debug output. We can find the message content by expanding the JSON object displayed in the debug output. The second way to run a flow is connecting the robot from our local machine and use the local run option. Launch the installed RoboMotion desktop application. Enter your workspace credentials and then click the sign in button. After successfully signing in, you will see the list of the available robots in your workspace. Select a robot from the list and click the connect button. And now when you click the run button, you will see that the local run option is enabled. Select the robot. For local run, you will only see the robots connected from your local machines. Now click the run button. This time, the flow will execute on your local machine where you have connected the robot. We can again check the returned response from OpenAI by expanding the debug output in designer's output panel. And here is the return content. The third and final way of connecting the robot is from Mac or Linux terminal or if you are on Windows from the command prompt. This method involves using the command line to connect your robot. Launch your terminal or command prompt application depending on your operating system. The installer includes RoboMotion DeskBot, a command line tool that simplifies connecting your robots directly from the command line, improving efficiency, especially on Linux servers. The RoboMotion DeskBot connect command requires two parameters. 
I for identity, which accepts your email, and W for workspace, which accepts your workspace URL. We then enter our workspace password, just like in the desktop application. After the signing process is successful, the command line tool will list the available robots in your workspace. Pick a robot. Now, when you press the Run button and choose the Local option, you will see two robots listed, one that is connected through the desktop application, and the other is the one we have just connected from the terminal. Let's select Furious Bose, and then run the flow locally on this robot connected from the terminal. Once again, the flow has finished successfully. When you connect the robot from the terminal or the command prompt, you can see the full debug output by checking the system console checkbox in the debug node properties. By selecting this option, you will also see the full debug output returned, nicely indented in the terminal or command prompt. And here is our response again, returned from the OpenAI API, this time with the robot running locally. Thank you for watching.